Okay. Uh, my name is Joan Jennings. Uh, I am calling the meeting of the Public Art Committee to order. It's Wednesday, July 12, 2023 at 2 p.m. We are in the second floor media room and it is 2 p.m. Uh, Megan, can you call the roll, please? Mr. Toth? Present. Mr. Jones? Present. Mr. Stackhouse? Here. Ms. McGrath? Present. Ms. Wood? Here. Ms. Arbatello? She's running expected. late. Yeah. And Biba is excused. is excused. And I'm here. And Chair Jennings. I'm here. <laughs> Okay, I see we have three guests. If every, if you could all introduce yourselves. I'm Jean Dinoff. Okay. I'm a target resident, 525 West First. Okay. Linda Eisner, Talking Resident. Katie Taylor, Talking Resident. Okay. Um, I assume you all had a chance to look at the meeting, mm -hmm. the minutes from the June 14th uh, mm -hmm. meeting. Are there any, uh, can I hear a motion to accept? I'll make the motion to accept. Nick, thank you. A second? I'll second it. Thank you, Robert. Is there um, <coughs> any uh, corrections, amendments? Um, just a question. Um, previously in the minutes, we haven't had the transcript of the entire conversation, but um, now we do. Um, is there a, um, a ruling from um, the city attorney that we need to do that, or can we just go back to the way we were? Um, Per the clerk's request, she just wanted a little bit more details of conversation. Okay. Okay, because this is Sorry. this is a transcription. It goes mm -hmm. beyond yeah. the, the, workshop. To the, to yeah. the workshop. Oh, the workshop. Just for okay. the wor yeah, workshop. workshop. Just yeah. for the workshop. Yeah. No, I mean oh, the, okay. the minutes of, of last. I meeting. can show her these last two uh, minutes and ask if I can pare down a little bit, which would be fine by me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I'm sure it will. Right. It'd be fine by me, too. Cause I, I saw you use the word bullet points in there somewhere. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, all in favor of accepting the minutes as submitted? Aye. 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 M minutes accepted. Okay, old business, our current project updates, the Black Heritage Project. Uh, you probably got the materials from Stephen Oliver. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, with the designs. Uh huh. And uh, it looks like uh, everything's been ordered, and uh, he's uh, saying that uh, it's looking like uh, he's going to start work on it at the Union Academy at the following week. And. Uh, Oh, hi, Stephen. Um, let the notes reflect that Stephen Oliver just came in as a guest. Okay. We were just discussing your update, Stephen. Okay. Okay. And um, it's, uh, I guess the, the question is uh, you have to pay the fabricator 50% up front. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I guess installation has to commence before you get the second installment payment on your contract. Right. So that so those images are ready to go out. Actually, I have some more. I can you know maybe pass around and just get a glimpse at them. But those will go out. It'll take five six a week, five or six weeks to get done. Mm -hmm. and that's been between now and then. That's my idea is to get the installations all started, and then that way I get that disbursement so I could finish this payment and. Give you all proof of that, and then finish. Right. That's the idea. Diane, I guess Stephen will work with you and uh, the city attorney on the second disbursement. Okay, so you know, just communicate with Diane, and she'll take it up with the city attorney. Okay. Um, the uh, the other thing too is uh, if you notice in the proposal, you know he. He has a design for uh, the wayfinding piece. And I'd just like to poll the committee and find out whether, um, in terms of fairness, should we automatically choose this or should we issue a call to artists? Graham, do you have any thoughts about that? 
<clears throat> if we did do a call to artists, um, <clears throat> I feel, first of all, that would be very unfair to Stephen. Um, you know, he's done all the work on this, and, and now asking somebody else to come along and build it is, is just not right. Um, and it's a natural extension of the project based on the um, requirement that, this, that, um, that we had to move it from the trolley stop mm -hmm. for safety reasons. Right. And so I see no reason not to, you know, now that we've got a, um, a reasonable quote on the extras to just go ahead and authorize it. Okay. Robert? I uh, <clears throat> agree with Graham. I think, uh, first of all, it, it, uh, in, it, it places this in its original place, mm -hmm. um, and its original intention of the artist for something to have been there, and it was under different circumstances that he had to move it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, I think that uh, added, added complications to what he had to do to, to make this thing work. Right. And he's, uh, he's obviously worked real hard to to try to work within all of these parameters that mm -hmm. uh, you've given Stephen. So uh, I think, uh, I, you know, it, you'd, you'd be a year out before you have anybody right. else doing something there. <laughs> what is that to you? Right. <laughs> Nick? And then what would oh, it be? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Um, I agree with, uh, with Graham and, and Robert that uh, this is uh, his baby, and this is actually, to me, this is an extension right. uh, of, of his art piece. Mm -hmm. if it, uh, yeah. Right. Sonia? Yeah, I concur. I feel yeah. it's Stephen's project. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to poll the, mm -hmm. the, the committee to see, to make sure that we're doing everything, mm -hmm. you know, correctly. Okay. So uh, I guess we need an approval of the piece and an approval of the uh, expenditure. So if I could get a motion to that effect. So moved. Okay, Graham. Second. I, I just had a question. So, well, you have to do the second, and then oh, you're okay, gonna, we can see. discuss. <laughs> okay, right. Nick. Okay. All right. Now a discussion. Okay. Um, this uh, page here is this the final? Are these these are the actual images that will be yeah, going? Actually, and I will be happy to show you a clearer, bigger picture. Oh, right. Screen, sure. I'm like. sure you have. Yeah. Um, traffic was a little crazy. They're getting the library to make some prints, but. Um, if you have, have any, say, thoughts about that text, I, I didn't amend it, no, but I didn't thought right. I could still yeah. tweak it. So that's a larger image of the sure. oh, okay. timing piece there. Yeah. I, I remember before you had some placeholders. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Thank Very you. Quiet. Cabernet, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it's done, yeah. It's beautiful. Lovely. <laughs> so that's the, um, there's more to show um, when, you're, when you move in, when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so um, we have a motion and a second to um, accept Stephen's Wayfinder piece and approve the expenditure of, is it 40? 4,850. Right, okay. I think for this one we'll do a roll call vote. Megan? Mr. Toth? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Stackhouse? Yes. Ms. McGrath? Yes. Chair Jennings? Yes. Okay, Stephen. You're good to go on the Wayfinder piece. And so, Stephen, I will... Do we need to get a contract amendment? I, I was just getting ready to say that, yeah. um, yes, Stephen, I'll work with you, and we'll get a contract for, for this piece. Okay. Thank you. Fine. Yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs> so that'll be a new contract? Mm-hmm. Okay. Does this have to get uh, BOC approval? No. Not okay. Just, a, just an amendment. No, <laughs> Thank you, Lord. The, the, okay. The amounts. Right. So, yeah. so do, do I understand now that that Stephen's ready to do shovel in the earth type stuff? Yeah, pretty uh, much. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you can you can start work. <laughs> yes. Um, would you like to see now? What you saw on that sheet that I sent last week was sort of the sort of final panels for the piece on the dock. Mm -hmm. you know? And those are crystal clear. They're kind of just like that. Right. The other ones, I, I, I did some tweaking, but I didn't want to really send them out because 
they're a lot more different because they're composed to be printed, then they get cut into a million pieces <laughs> to, to assemble. Right. So I have those images. If you want to take a peek at I do what that, I will come back by. Um, and do your whiter thing there's again. There's 11, yeah. 11 panels uh, just for that okay. second piece. Okay. I can email this to you too as well, so you'll That's have it. That's probably a good idea. So the reason I'm kind of showing you this in person is, My dear. again, these get sliced into like pickets, and then like, right. you'll see the top portion. Uh huh. There's about a six foot section which are pickets. Will, will become pickets. Oh, the I top see. section are all the images that get layered on top. Okay. So that is the, uh, oh, the Union okay. Academy. Those are the panels which will get produced, and then they'll be right. cut. Okay. okay. And there's a lot of at the end, you'll find all the lots. I did a lot of miracle, miracle working to <laughs> right. because the quotes on this were like the one that I have is really good, mm -hmm. but you know, uh, it could quickly be undoable if I had gone right. with another mm -hmm. company and had them cut it. I literally have purchased a saw so I can do it mm -hmm. wow. because it could easily double the price mm -hmm. and it would be like like half the budget, whole project, yeah, just, just for the panels. Right. Wow. Yeah, Stephen, yeah. I just have a question. I thought that there'd be more, you know, pictures of people. Yeah, I will show you. That was one of the things about this is tricky. When you see the top of this, mm -hmm. all of those are individual images that get cut and installed on top of the fence. Ah, the gotcha. Layer. So okay. that's where all that history, some of it is embedded in the back and gets mm -hmm. split as background, and okay. the rest gets installed on the okay. floor. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, so you're going to start on that first. This is the thing that goes out to get produced. What I start on first is all the uh, site work, the frame, the armatures, and then while I'm waiting for this, and then I come back and then cut this up and install it. Uh huh. The, 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 like the cladding, basically. Mm hmm. Okay, so the first piece that will be done is the Union Academy piece, and then the second one will be the piece on the river? Yeah. Or are they going to be pretty much simultaneous? I'm going to be going back and forth while I'm here a little bit, mm -hmm. but I'm going to start on the structural members at Union Academy, um, and then I, I very well may, I have to, I have to check with a, um, a concrete supplier locally. Mm -hmm. Apparently there's a pretty good one on the other side of the uh, Anklet River. <clears throat> um, they're quite different. That one I talked to um, Public Works about it. You know, you get that saltwater environment, mm -hmm. and, I, and I wanted to know who did that. But I, but I also in my research, it's like you probably there's certain additives you can do so it's saltwater resistant, as close as a match we can get. There's a lot of things right. that are done so that it doesn't like I'm not drilling into it. I'm abutting it with an expansion joint, so it's nice and clean. I'm not going to screw up. Right. Or have to make the town amend what they've done. That's like the goal. Right. Uh, Diane? Excuse me. When anybody speaks, on the, oh, uh, a guest sorry. here, can you Better. come up to the, um, the mic, you know, mm -hmm. just because it's easier? Yeah, if you could come up to the mic. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering if uh, mm -hmm. Bob Rod Robertson might be a good person to talk to, because I know he's in, he, you know, about the concrete, he's, or he, yeah, you know, um, just to refer Stephen to someone. We'll um, we'll probably um, get him with um, Public Works. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. But well, he and I. Will but you talk to Brandon that. about this. Um, mm -hmm. He hadn't given me a name yet. He knows. Like I was inquiring about who did the actual concrete work on the docks, because that's like the best re resource. Right. But then I my separate research has led me to a company on right nearby too. So, the idea there was I would build the formwork, get it all ready which involves a bunch of different things, drilling and cutting into this, and then they come and pour it. Mm -hmm. okay. Then I click, and then I watch it like a hawk, so it messes <laughs> until it's cured. Yeah. You know, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. So when do you expect, um, uh, so to speak, a shovel to break ground? Oh, it's going to be like probably within a week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. great. Probably within a week, yeah. I have to kind of have to, you know. I got to get this thing because I got to get, you know, we got this thing in the pipeline. So right. pressure's yeah. on, but a lot, everything is assembled. There's actually a couple things I'm picking up that were like waiting to come in to the stores. I believe there's a there's some additional uh, a zinc paint. It's an extra coating that's coming in. It should be there today. So almost everything. I got like this punch list. So and it and and. Uh, 
it's be take too long, but there's a lot. There's there's literally hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of little components mm -hmm. down to screws, and um, so, <laughs> and uh, you know, I should have. I'll be going over all that, so everything is organized when I get there, and and if I have to you know, order anything, I'll order it sooner than later. I think I'm pretty good. good. I have a very small list of things that are left over to do. Mm -hmm. Mind you, this particular resin thing was a really nice discovery because. Um, I might have mentioned this before, but most of these companies, they're dealing with big architecture firms and things like that. They'll be happy to expedite for like thousands of dollars. <laughs> it's just like the no, shipping, that's, that's the packing. <laughs> it is like insane. This company is really reasonable, but also they can, this is really big, they can resurface, which probably means, in other words, they, it's a simpler top coat, which you can actually resurface or repair easier than with the other ones, if you have a very specialized, you just have to replace it. Right. It's just like, that becomes a big deal. Yeah, that's a big asset. So I'll really. be looking into this, and I, I probably could even do some of that myself without having to ship it back to the factory. Mm -hmm. So like, take like a single picket, I could literally ship out if I wanted oh, to. Oh, that's great. And have it resurfaced. And all the decorative is actually print in the print versus some of them have really cool surfaces, mm -hmm. but then if you something happens, you can't resurface it. Mm -hmm. So um, funny enough, and the graphics are tricky because there's lots of different things so with those really large kind of abstract things I literally have used the function it's called sponge <laughs> <laughs> it, it pixelates it in a way that makes it more you know at that scale right. so anyway that's kind of a, just a little fun detail okay thanks Stephen yeah um, I have one more for Stephen if sure Stephen if you wouldn't mind yeah. um, just a quick question um, we've um, been finding um, that maintenance of our bronze statues mm -hmm. is becoming expensive mm -hmm. um, you know, over the years as corrosion mm -hmm. and cracking um, gets worse. I know mm -hmm. that the material you are not, you're using is not bronze, mm -hmm. um, but um, I think you should be aware, if you weren't already, mm -hmm. that this is a very harsh environment, mm -hmm. and, um, and hopefully your materials and yeah, and oh, a good point. Um, where that comes into play, well, for first of all, the, what I've also discovered is the two sites are actually really quite different. The one right there on the dock is really, you kind of have to assume, which I did correctly, I think. And of course, you could get harsher. You've got that salt right there. Mm -hmm. You have wind more, perhaps more wind exposure. You've got a lot of things um, going on there. The key thing with that is to get the welds right. Mm -hmm. That's really what you want to do. Uh, so that um, it's like really strong. So, and there's a lot of things that you do to make sure that happens in the process. On the other one, it's nice. It's a little bit lower. Um, and um, actually, there there are corner posts, and I've actually got intermediate posts as well mm -hmm. on that one. So it's going to have a lot of a lot. It's got a whole lot of anchoring mm -hmm. going on. So. Um, and that, of course, that, fortunately, it's not as, for instance, the fence that's actually there has been there 39 years. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it's hardly even, it's like, it's just got like the regular patina that you find on a galvanized uh, fence. So it's a much different microclimate. There's one section which is a rust, but I, what happens is if you don't treat that material right, or you, or you weld, when you weld, if something, it's preferable not to weld that, but if you weld that kind of material, that becomes a really tricky point. With, with that particular material. Bronze is a whole other thing, which he knows about, yes. and the casting, you know. But yeah, okay. just a little bit of background. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Stephen, I have a, a, yep. a, mm -hmm. a question about <clears throat> the, the experience you've had in doing this kind of a project with this kind of material. Is this similar to what you did in the Gulfport? The, actually, the frame uh, is very much so, is very similar. Um, and some of the fasteners, um, yeah. The hull of the boat there was 316, 30, 316 stainless steel, which is held up really well. Um, the fasteners, at least most of them were. <laughs> How old this, is that piece? That one is 2014. Okay. So um, that, but that had a much smaller budget. So I had to go with like an auto epoxy over okay. mild steel, and I'm going to actually do some you're cleaning in a of that. Environment there too. Though. It actually I mean, has right held up on. really well, considering it really has. And I used uh, and that had acrylic paint. UV, um, what's the name of the paint company? UV paint, like I went through the whole list and got all the highest grade. I swear the paint is almost, <laughs> it's like it's like brand new. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. um, what's the name of that company? I'll think of it again. That's okay. 
But anyway, <laughs> um, acrylic, acrylic paint uh, was on that one. So um, that one had a lot of, it had a structural thing with welding. So again, that's the key thing for in terms of strength here. And then the design was to try to triangulate and let air flow through it and stuff. So, but it, it's really held up well. It it has overall, yeah. I've got some cleaning up. To, I'm going to do some cleaning up on that eventually. Actually, you know, in terms of the paint, but it has held up really well. It hasn't had any wind issues or anything like that. Mm -hmm. People climbing on it was one issue. <laughs> that was the only <laughs> thing I had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll yeah, always okay. do that. Okay. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, um, Riverside Field mural project. Uh, Diane, I think we, you did a new call incorporating the football. Um, well, we have to vote on that. So yeah. that's what um, we need to do. Um, the artist that you all chose uh, for the Riverside um, mural uh, has withdrawn their design. So hmm. we're, back to, um, we're back to the beginning and uh, so now we'll do a new call, but we'll also incorporate incorporate football in that, you know, as well. Mm -hmm. But you also probably should decide on um, maybe a different fee. And if you want to, you know, make it all inclusive, like all four sides or just keep it at two sides, I think that needs to be a discussion, you know, because one of the things that was an issue was the amount of comp compensation too for mm -hmm. the um, amount of work and things like that. So, and as we know, the reason we're doing that is so that the artist does not have to, um, you know, hold the insurance, you know, that the, the right. city requires. However, you know, there are many artists that, uh, that all that do have their own insurance. So, you know, I think if you decide mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. raise it or whatever you decide to do, you know, I'll incorporate that in a new call. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was. I was just gonna say, if uh, could you, you know, do two separate things. Like, if if you do not have the required insurance, this is the compensation. If you do, we can negotiate, or should we just leave it at a thousand per wall for now? I think it, it should. We should try to keep it as simple as possible because right. I think if there's too many options, I think that's a yeah, deterrent for artists yeah, it's to answer right. it. Okay to be honest with you, just based on what we've done in the past with mm -hmm. the same, you know, project, so. Oh, mm -hmm. Nick, do you have any questions about the mural project? No, I really like the one we chose. I know, <laughs> yeah. Not too bad yeah. Drew, uh, yeah, I mean, we have no choice. Let's start over, and uh, as far as the four sides or two, yeah. um, you know, I, I, I don't know, I'd have to go out there. I mean, mm -hmm. I only see two sides when I'm out there playing tennis, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, and, and all, and, uh, yeah, and I wonder how the neighbors, you know, if it's an amenity that they would appreciate that are on the back side there, you know, mm -hmm. the homes there. So it's, I mean, something to right. check into and all. And, uh, I think that is uh, one of the concerns, we'll too, is that it is in the heart of the neighborhood, and so it needs to be pleasing and, and blend in with the neighborhood aesthetic as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you know. yeah. Dawn? Well, um, in, in working on the brochure, I did a lot of reading about public art um, and its purpose and uh, what it can do for a community. And always going towards its pleasing to the people around it isn't necessarily, I don't think, the purpose of public art. I think sometimes it should be um, cause for discussion and making people think about things. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I understand we've got, we've got uh, approvals that we have to go through. Um, but maybe a reminder that that's, mm -hmm. you know, part of the, the purpose of having public art isn't to have, you know, everything Pollyanna, right. you know, it's to, it's to put artwork out there in the public and have mm -hmm. it be a source for conversation. <coughs> right. And sometimes controversy, but, mm -hmm. you know, that's what art is. Yes. Or the best art. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that's, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. No, that's, that's all I got to say. Graham? I'm in favor of opening it up for uh, an open project for all four sides, even though the one facing the tennis courts is going to be um, difficult because of its shading and, um, you know, the, the, the general sort of gloominess of that side of mm -hmm. the building. Um, but um, I have secretly always wanted the side facing the children's playground to have something spectacular there for the children mm -hmm. 
So, yeah, I'm in favor of, of changing it, you know, just saying, okay, let's ask someone if they can do um, all four sides um, and, um, and, and do, in particular, a children-themed one um, on the backside facing the children's playground um, and football and tennis and mm -hmm. pickleball and billiards you and whatever you feel like <laughs> on the rest of it. <laughs> okay, Robert? Well, if you, if you want them to do, pr make a proposal for the four sides, uh, then you give them four categories. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, so, so that you want them to address the four categories that you want for that. Am I to understand that this is still $1,000, or is it $1,000 no, per need. wall? I would, assume, I would uh, encourage you to increase the, the yeah. fee. So I wouldn't do it for that. Oh. No, <laughs> no I was, I, that's why I said open it, yeah, so yeah, that we yeah, get open a quote. Money. Yeah, we yeah. need more, you know, if $1,000 a side would, would no. attract somebody, I bet. Well, that's what I was thinking. I think yeah. that's what we brought up at the last meeting. To, with this other artist is to add, you know, the additional compensation for because it was two sides. But if you're going to step up and open it up that way too, you, you're liable to get more um, um, professional like uh, uh, mm -hmm. muralists who yeah. already carry that kind of insurance or yes. understand right. that it's not all that difficult. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not it's not that big of a deal, right. really, in their part. What What's what's the big deal for doing the four sides is the material, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's they're getting of, reimbursed for material. Yeah, that's so. going to be a lot of paint and stuff, so they have to mm -hmm. do that. But I think you could attract, um, you know, I, I agree with with everybody so far. It's it's it, you can get some some pretty interesting probably mm -hmm. proposals mm -hmm. for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the thing about a proposal is, is we don't have to accept it. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Sonia. Yeah. I kind of agree with what everybody's saying. I also feel that we should probably be, um, the compensation should probably be more. I think that's where we probably keep mm -hmm. a bit of a trip okay, over the no. rock. But I also like the fact that maybe, as you said, the four sides open it up to right. something different. So how does everybody feel about putting out a call for four different categories for that building? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might just be fun. Yeah, the, the yeah, you know, one artist could do the four categories. Right, Isn't that what or we're talking about. Yeah, yes. not, not yeah, four yeah. different yeah. artists. Yeah. Oh no, same, no. Same, no, same, no one same. artist, four four categories. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. you can do that. You can you can say it must address this. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, might it be more attractive to people if they had a little bit more leeway, as far as what they're doing? Maybe we could say something like appropriate for the neighborhood and the area and the activities and leave it at that instead mm -hmm. of saying, oh, you have to incorporate tennis and you have to incorporate soccer and you have to, you know, children's playground and all that kind of stuff. One side appropriate for children mm -hmm. um, and all of them in keeping in mind the neighborhood <coughs> and the activities and the general location might give, you know, artists a little more freedom to come up with something really spectacular. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the, the thing is that uh, you know, when all this came up, we got a pretty strong email from one of the commissioners about, uh, you know, what he thought the uh, the people around that building would want. So, do we pay attention to that, or just? Well, I mean, is that is up? that anecdotal, or does he has he had people talk to him about it, or like, again, the purpose of art. Is right. Oh, no. You know, we're not we're not a you know a, a painting. Co you know, we're not yeah. operating a painting company. If you wanted, you know, a decal on there, then they could buy it. You know, the city could buy a decal. It's just this, mm -hmm. this, this could be a can of worms. Mm. Yeah. Well. Uh, in saying, you know, trying to get, you know, the, it, it's all in the eye of the beholder in a way. Mm -hmm. You know, and you've got to. That's what the call of the artist is for. Is you're trying to find somebody who's appropriate for this site. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. you're gonna get people maybe from not here, right? Oh, they yeah, don't know that's, what that's that is. They right. they just look at the photographs and uh, they'll they'll assume what what it is. And mm -hmm. uh, in the site presentation of the thing, included children's playground right next to it. So they'll mm -hmm. sense that maybe that's one of their directions. Yeah, Diane. Well, I was gonna say I think you know in the call to artists, you know, the, it, it's all in the details. So if we incorporate that, you know, this is a park that's in the middle of a neighborhood, take lots of good pictures to have them available, 
but also tell them what that park is used for primarily. Mm -hmm. I mean, not to dictate, but just to say this is what goes on, you know, right. in right. this park, you know, kind of thing. So right. that way they can, you know, take their artistic. Yeah, you suggest, you yeah. suggest to them sure. what they right. should so, turn into. So. Well, well, instead of a mandate. Yeah, well, let, let everybody creates. know what the environment mm -hmm. is, but don't right. say, oh, you have to do something with mm -hmm. tents right. and with, you know, because that really limits and maybe, you know, fantastic muralists out there just aren't into that subject matter, mm -hmm. but they could perfectly well do an amazing something right. you know, that's appropriate for the area and for the activities. Um, I think what giving more leeway is better than right. less leeway. Dawn, are you willing to take this on again with Diane? Um, yeah. Would you like to me to read what Commissioner Coulias said about it? Sure. Um, on April 7th, Commissioner Coulias wrote, um, this mural needs to incorporate the many activities, family outings and sports that are associated with Riverside Park for all ages. Please stay away from abstract, vibrant colors that do not fit the neighborhood. This park is dear to me and the community who lives and grew up there. And although I can't control the full extent of the mural that may be approved, I will be heavily monitoring this topic. Some of the public art committee may never have played or enjoyed Riverside Park while living here in Tarpon Springs, and they must be cautious and take it um, the mural project serious in the family park it is. I would rather have the concession stand painted a nice solid color with trim than some abstract mural that doesn't reflect the family atmosphere and activities that occur at Riverside Park. Okay, that's one opinion. Yes. It is a commissioner, but it's still one opinion. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think... I, I think, think the most important part of that, if I may say, if I can just re re reiterate, is the... The mural needs to incorporate the many activities, family outings, and sports that are associated with Riverside Park for all ages. And I think that has been our, um, our focus, certainly our, our request to artists, all along. Right. So, yeah. um, right. Mm -hmm. uh, my, you know. my point is that that's extremely limiting, and I don't know why it must incorporate those as long as it's it's artistic it's appropriate for the area mm. why does it have to why does it have to incorporate those things it right well it doesn't sense to me it doesn't but yeah. uh, I, I guess the thing is it might be preferred to do that not required right so yeah. you're still giving people leeway but you're also giving them some kind of direction right. you know that you know, would probably be met with more enthusiasm. <laughs> Absolutely. I think it's really important to say that, you know, this will have to be approved. It does go into a neighborhood. It is right. part of this community. And make sure that in the call that that's very clear. Mm -hmm. But definitely, you know, not saying it has to have this in it. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, you two will work together. We need a compensation. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thousands. How much are you going to offer? How would we like to do that? Would we like to do it as an open call or specify an amount plus expenses or how would like you like just accept normally bids? do that? Mm. You're saying accept bids mm -hmm. rather than saying this is the compensation? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure which would get the best response. Well, I think probably Robert's a good, uh, yeah. uh, you know, one to ask that question. But to me, if you leave things too open-ended, you're not going to get a lot of responses. I mean, they want to know specifics. Mm. You know, it's like some don't would, waste my time. <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Be attracted you know? to the four thousand dollars plus right. materials. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. right. I think right. that'd be fun. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm comfortable with four thousand plus materials. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everyone could else we, is. because of this insurance concern, could we say a thousand dollars per wall? But don't you want it as a, a complete? Right. Yeah. But yeah. well, but. Yeah. Yeah, to specify. Um, or, or down the I'm, line, we could say that it's broken down this way, mm -hmm. you know. I, Robert said there are professional muralists around that, that um, he can imagine would do it for $4,000 plus materials who carry their own insurance. Okay. Yeah. So, but I, I guess I want it to be inclusive of the people who did, didn't, you know, have that insurance. 
Um, They'll learn how to get it. <laughs> right, I was going to say, it's and a super learning expensive. experience. Yeah. Right? You, want to, you want to do this? It's it's part of the it's part of the trade, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So four thousand plus expenses. <laughs> what expense? What is the top top dollar for the expense? How much well, are you willing to, uh, to give them? No what more than twenty five hundred. Oh, that's a lot. What would you say, Robert, for four sides of a building? For, 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 for the paint you were saying would be costly. Oh, the paint compensation. Mm -hmm, like for materials. Oh. What's ah. there? A couple hundred. Paint's expensive. <laughs> It'll depend on how many yeah. colors they use. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's yeah. really kind of hard to say what, uh, how we could control that. Uh, well, just remember, yeah. too, we still have to approve everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if somebody says they want $10,000 reimbursement for materials, that's... Yeah. They're not going to get it. Yeah. yeah. I... I you know, I'm not a muralist. I, I don't know how much it takes to paint the side of a building. Uh, um, just think of it, uh, go down to Lowe's and you buy a couple of gallons of paint, you know, they're, they're, you'd, well, be a, you'd be a couple, you'd be $100 just for two gallons of paint. Well, the, the artist that withdrew his um, proposal, he had uh, about $560 mm -hmm. uh, for uh, the two walls. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, of course, a lot of times with the murals, they have a UV um, mm -hmm. that they put yeah. over right. it, yeah. you know, so. You have I mean, to that's prep the wall, more, too, before right. sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's the other thing that uh, I think our, you know, public works um, mm -hmm. folks wanted to know. It's like, if we're going to put a call out to artists, you know, should we include that they have to prep the wall themselves, <coughs> you know, instead of, you know, our, you know, team doing that as well. So, you know. That's another thing you need to consider because we're talking about a whole building, mm -hmm. you know. So, I mean, that could be expensive for the mm -hmm. artist. So, especially if you have to prep the wall, because I mean, well, so and what you, kind of a condition can that building be? I well, mean, you pressure wash it one. Yeah, I, I think is what you would do. I, okay. I, isn't that isn't that a procedure that's been yeah. done? Yeah. And then you have to make whatever minor repairs. And yeah, you have to you know, cracks and, and fissures and things like that that have to be repaired somehow. But um, I mean, it's a it's a bigger investment. I mean, it's you know, I I, mm -hmm. I would think a reasonable amount of <laughs> materials. I don't know. Do you want to start at two thousand? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Do we have to specify anything for materials? Are, are we putting a, t a, a, a top? You want to put an you know an NTT and NTE on it, not to exceed. Right, to, I, I think okay. it's a good idea. Yeah. All right, you let's know? do a not to exceed two thousand. Yeah. Well, if you're going to put in surface preparation as well, um, yeah, maybe we should say uh, materials and surface prep not to exceed twenty five hundred. Okay. All right, it doesn't cost that much to, to, to pressure wash a building. Yeah. But if they have to, if they have to, um, yeah. Yeah. if they have to Feel make repairs, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they might need to do a primer coat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. okay, so just to to recap, we will suggest four possible categories. The fee will be $4,000 with a materials allowance not to exceed $2,500. So right. Prep and everybody. materials. Prep and materials. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. I don't think we need a vote on this. Yeah. We do? So. Yeah. Okay. Can I have a motion to uh, create a quilt artist with the parameters of four categories a budget of four thousand dollars and materials and prep not to exceed twenty five hundred dollars. So moved. Okay, Gordon, second. Gordon, who's he? Graham. Oh. <laughs> second. Okay, thanks, Tony. Second. Okay. Yeah, because you're. I'm sitting in. Okay. Okay. Not to exceed. Okay, I think uh, we've pretty much covered this one. Okay, budget update and developer contributions. Uh, Megan, do we have? Current balance is one hundred and eighty thousand dollars nine hundred and thirty. I'm sorry, one hundred and eighty thousand nine hundred and thirty-four dollars and twenty-five cents. Just interest. There are no current project updates. Okay. Um, I was wondering. There's a a huge pro 
project going on 19 just south of Queen's Pizza or around CVS and Queen's Pizza. And I think it's uh, pretty, sh pretty sure that it's in Tarpon Springs. Mm -hmm. So I sent a quick email to uh, Pat McNeese to get her ruling on whether that's something that we should look at as a, you know, source of uh, income. And uh, she's out of the office till Thursday, so we'll wait to hear from her on that. So we'll just, and if anybody drives around town and sees a nice big construction, <laughs> please. There's one right here at City Hall. Oh yeah, no, we have we we know we know about that. There, Thank you very much. Seen that one? Yeah, <laughs> that's a doozy. Right by it. Yeah, tripped yeah. over it. Thank you. Okay, uh, the next one is our rolling uh, agenda item: the CRA mural project. Um, I've gotten a couple of inquiries from people, so I think we might be getting one or two applications next month. It just seems okay. amazing that nobody's been right. coming up to the plate with this, but there you have it. Yeah, isn't it amazing? Yeah. It's just like, you know, I belong to a, a couple of philanthropic organizations that raise money for scholarships for kids, and, yeah. and they, they don't call back. Yeah. You know, we're saying here, this, this right. money. <laughs> Diane, didn't you say in our workshop that there there had been a couple of submissions? For, for CR, the CRA? Yeah. Um, there's some that are, um, I guess, thinking about it, okay. but, you know, until... Okay. Um, you know, Karen gets all the information from them, you know, and everything. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We met, you know, there may be one coming to us in August, but I think she's still working on it. Right. Okay. I these think these are businesses and buildings, you mean it's right. for right. apply to have the mural plan. Yeah. Right. So I, yeah, I think it's the um was it Carmelitas? I don't the know restaurant which one that is. uh on uh, Alt 19, it's it's finally opening soon. It's yeah, got right, the sign right. on it. That I'm pretty sure we're oh, getting one from them. Oh, but cantina, yeah. Yeah, the cantina. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah. All right, a new business. Okay, St. <clears throat> Kate Art, bronze statue maintenance. Well, the first thing is I would like to recommend that repairs to uh, Alma the Mermaid be prioritized and done as soon as we can. That's been hanging fire for a long time. And um, I'd like to get other opinions on how you feel about uh, any urgently needed repairs or priorities. So, Sonia, why don't we start down at your end? Can you just ask me again? What? Just ask me again. Oh, do you have any uh, of all of the uh, maintenance and repair issues other than uh, Alma the Mermaid, which I <coughs> feel we should prioritize because... Uh, we've been trying to find somebody who was willing to uh, weld a break in the statue for years, and finally Desmond at St. Kate's have, has found somebody who's got the ability to do it, so I think I want to... Yes. No, I agree, because, I mean, I walk past her almost every single day, mm -hmm. and she's frequently visited, and I think it would be good to have her... Right. And it looked like somebody scratched and some initials in her. Yes, I'm going to have a look at that today when I walk past. Yeah. Um, yeah, because this is rather unfortunate. Yeah. Do you think anything else should be? And then just that little weld by her tail. Yeah. Do that. Yeah, and I think just cleaned up. I mean, it looks like there's this red. Mm -hmm. that I don't recall seeing that there before either. So, yeah, just have her cleaned up and... Yeah, they usually put a, a, a finish on it. Okay, Robert, do you have anything you feel that we oh, should? Just, just um, general, you know, you, you need to assess each each piece, you know, and it should be, well, that's kind it should of what be they more case. yearly or something like that. Right. I mean, Semi-regularly, because things like this can happen and you don't yeah. know it. I mean, you could walk by that. A hundred times and not see it because you're not just looking for it. It's yeah. it mm -hmm. can blend into the patina mm -hmm. of right. things and, and the bronze um, is very you know bronze is an incredibly durable material, but once it gets opened up and salt and yeah. all that kind of stuff, it's mm -hmm. a, uh, and it's just an eyesore and and, and it mm -hmm. it reflects badly on this uh, our our collection to to not. Uh, Keep, keep tabs with it. I mean, unfortunately, art requires a lot of maintenance, yep. just like our house mm -hmm. does, or 
leave a car out there in the park for a couple of months and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. you know, so, you know, it, it, <clears throat> we have a tendency to say, oh, we're going to buy this thing, we're going to put it up, and right. then, uh, then we don't take care of it. So. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. and it's been mentioned a few times, this is a very harsh environment for art. Yeah. So. yeah, I was about to say, especially because this is just being discovered, because um, seriously, I was standing next to her not too long ago, and I did not see this. And mm -hmm. I also just feel that if you've pierced the surface, then we should take care of it. Right. If you all would notice that there are actually two different prices for mm -hmm. Alma. Uh, the first one is like the, the cleaning and maintenance where they, they clean it and wax it. And uh, the second one is for the um, repair. for the Right. The repair is soldering uh, for the welding. Uh, Estimate the last three digits are three twenty three, and it's the the amount is thirteen forty seven fifty. Okay. I'm not sure which of these it's which. Uh, look at the twenty three on top. That's it. Twenty three. Okay. Yeah. And the holdup before was that St. Kate's didn't have a person who could bring their welding equipment out to the site because that's what they need. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was the problem, and so now they have found, you know, someone who can do that and who will come on site to make the repair. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I've, I, I found, I went and looked at it and took some photos. Mm -hmm. and it's in, uh, it really needs to, to be addressed right away. And there's some, yeah, some real issues uh, with it. You know, I, the, the obvious crack on that brace, the, uh, you know, the, the bracket that's on the tail and all, mm -hmm. and then on the other side, there's another bracket in the middle of the tail uh, that holds it. The bracket, uh, the weld hasn't broken there where the bracket is. However, you can see where it's starting uh, yeah. to, to get porous there, you know, because it's such a thin gauge, you mm -hmm. know, the bronze uh, on the other uh, weld. However, the weld on the one bracket to the tail that's completely broken off, um, you know, I checked the weld. The welds are pretty nice welds. Mm -hmm. you know, and all. So, and the, and the break, if you look at it on that weld, it's just straight down the middle of that weld. So there's nothing wrong with the guy that welded it. You know, he, you know, it was a mm -hmm. nice weld, except the stresses on that weld, because he had to use a bronze stick mm -hmm. to weld it because the piece is bronze and all, wasn't strong enough to support it the way, you know, just the way it's all engineered to stand mm -hmm. up and all. And so now the only thing that's really holding that statue upright is are the welds under her feet mm -hmm. and all. And that one weld there on the, uh, on the tail, the one bracket and all. But my concern is how strong is, uh, you know, uh, how thin is the bronze, you know, of where that bracket is. You know, it may not necessarily break at the at the at the weld like it did on the other side it may give you know where the weld attaches to the actual tail and all so i was just curious you know the people that are doing it if they're you know i'm, I'm sure they must be aware of I'm you sure. know because it's really tricky uh it's something i wouldn't attempt because i'm it's, it's nothing you know i, I practice doing because it's such a thin gauge bronze mm -hmm. and all that you really you know you get too hot and you're going to blow a hole through the, the, the bronze. It gets, you know, the, the, yeah. the weld is too hot, you know, and you do it. It really, it's really is, uh, it, it takes a real craftsman, you know, to, to, to get on this thing and, and, and not mess it up, basically. But, yeah, I just want to let you know, yeah, the condition that what I'm worried about, we're getting into storm season. Exactly. Here and all, and I didn't dare put my arm on the statue and just, to see what would happen if I put pressure on it yeah. and all. Because, you know, again, that base, you know, I just, this is the first time I actually started hitting, you know, the statue. Mm -hmm. I just take for granted, you know, this is a solid piece. And I started, you know, this is a, you know, as thin as a tin can almost, the base, all of it, you know. Wow, well, yeah. And all, so I really worry, you know, how, you know, supportive, I'm not sure, you know, how that, uh, the mermaid was put together. Mm -hmm and all but uh, yeah I am worried you know that it's the only thing is down at her the bottom of her feet and she's standing on her tippy toes is sit, you yeah. know and what's yeah. going to happen Nick are there different components to the to to different kinds of bronzes yeah 
I mean, and, yeah. and is this and a, an, an exterior bronze or an interior bronze? Well, I mean, it's not so much the bronze. To me, it's the, the yeah, there are different grades of bronze. Yeah, there's stuff they call commercial bronze, and I'm trying to think of the name of the other bronze, you know. But uh, it's this is more the the uh, the welding the stick they're using the rod yeah. that they're doing you know I don't you know if they're going to use aluma bronze you know a stick you know aluminum and bronze I'm not sure you know there's all sorts of different uh, uh, you know, uh, ways to to weld it all different sticks you know uh, rods that they use depending on you know on on what's required and this is going to be a very fine you know okay. fine weld. Uh, Nick, would you be willing to uh, talk to Desmond at St. Kate's? Sure. Okay. We can uh, put you in touch with him. Okay. Yeah, and, I think uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, and then maybe even if uh, when the guy shows up. If be you wonder, could, yeah, to be there and talk with him. And, yeah. yeah. See how he's doing. Sure. Appreciate your expertise. I'm sure you'd find it interesting, too. Yeah, I would. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, Diane, we're going <laughs> we're gonna to put a rush on this one. Yeah especially after hearing Dr. Toth's diagnosis. <laughs> well, and there was nothing in this quote for the amount of money of what kind of, you know, oh, no, this there wasn't is any specific. This is yeah. all in the weeds, yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, the others, I don't know, do you want to, uh, anybody have strong feeling about the others? Well, we Mostly just have something cleaning. done with the NIADs. Yeah, most of yeah, them are cleaning and maintenance. Maybe we could put these off until, you know, after storm season. Um, after storm season. Mm -hmm. No, I, I have strong feelings about about this. Okay. Since you asked. Okay, <laughs> then express your strong feelings. Um, <clears throat> I think that if we are going to, um, as a group, spend um, thousands of dollars of public funds on pieces of um, of art like the uh, you know like like the dyads like the storybook um, thing and 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 to you know have responsibility for for the um, the mermaid then um, we should at the same time bear in mind that we do have built into our um, our um, budget line wit Oh, <laughs> as it were, writ rather, not yeah. wit, um, oh, that we should allocate ten percent of our funds to maintenance. Well, we do, but and, the, the thing and, is, it's the and timing I know, on it. I yeah. know this is a little, you know, it's a, it's a little over, and we're looking at it from um, an urgency perspective. But you know, it's been kind of let go for a bit, and we should catch up. No, we would have it done annually. It's been yeah. well, maybe two years, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's been a couple of years, and so we Actually, need guys, to get it done, and we need to get better. it done as soon as possible. You're doing better in some museums. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, they tend to right, shirk well, their responsibility this way sometimes. Yeah, I, I know. You see this stuff outside, some of them, it's, yeah. it's very well, Brian, sad. Do you think a month or two would make a big difference? That's it what might if a hurricane comes through. Well, no, I'm not talking about Alma. I'm talking about the other ones, which are just basically cleanings. Well, there's some repair work to do on the, um, uh, the on the storybook bench, right? And um, if you look where it is, it's kind of you know it, it, it needs to be done well, as soon this, as possible. Well, this this estimate says the estimate does not include replacing or repairing the missing slat for the bench. Mm -hmm. The public works department said that they would do that. Right. Okay. Yeah. So okay, it's good. really just the rest the cooking and stuff. Right. Yeah. And I, and I think you know the. We know that um, cleaning and coating bronzes uh, preserves them for. Oh yeah. You know, no, so we should just do it. Mm -hmm. They they need to be done, and and it's, you know, <coughs> what are we going to do? Sit and watch the money for, uh, accumulate interest, right. instead. Well, maybe we should um, take care of the uh, Alma right away because right, that's a, exactly. a problem, and then just maybe we could vote on this time <coughs> every year. We have this in our budget to to do that and just do it that time every year, and then that way we won't. Mm -hmm. well, you know, if it's after right after hurricane season for the cleaning and the research. Right, we kind we kind of do that. that. That's why okay. we get these yeah. things from St. Kate yeah. yeah. because they're precious places. Yeah, we do yeah. have yeah. precious precious few months. people. Yeah. Okay. Well, we we get a quote every year, right, Diane? 
Right, but we do have a separate maintenance fund that doesn't affect your budget. Right. You know, so we can, that's always there okay. for you so, specifically for this. Right, mm -hmm. okay, so I guess call Desmond, tell him to, you know, do the mermaid as soon as possible and... Um, and do the others as soon as possible afterwards. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, I, I'm going to take a vote on this. Can I have a, a motion to... Uh, Prioritize repairs to the mermaid. That's the St. Kate estimate two two three three two three, with uh, the other uh, maintenance items done shortly thereafter. I make a motion to do that. Okay, thank you, Robert. Can I get a second? Sure, I'll second. Whatever you say. Okay, thank you, Nick. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Now we're going to the virtual tour tour guide and QR codes. I think I sent you some um, information a couple weeks ago about what um, the city of Sarasota is using mm -hmm. for theirs. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of them out there, you know, kind right. of thing. Yeah. Um, but um, I have it out here. All right. Are you so looking for people to speak on it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that it would be nice if one of the committee would adopt that as their project. Do I hear a volunteer? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm coming up on item hmm. D. Okay. <clears throat> well, the lady to my right just volunteered. Mm hmm I'll, Unfortunately, in my earshot, so she's. <laughs> <laughs> I said it real quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Is that why you set me over here? Yes. Um, so, just so I'm have some action items. What what I want to do is gather different options, pricing for those options, amount of work, and then present it, and everybody would say. Yeah, your nay, this is the direction we want to go. Is that sounds what sounds I'm perfect? About? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Plans perfect. of action with prices and timelines. Okay. Yeah. Sounds a little bit professional for this group, but <laughs> whatever. Okay. Um, unless anybody has any other things to talk about the uh, tour guide, I'm going to move on to the Peace Poll project. Okay. Um, there was a uh, meeting that I attended. Uh, with the city manager and uh, some representatives from the Tarpon Springs Rotary Club. And uh, they want to do uh, this peace poll project. And basically, it's a pretty much square, six-foot piece of concrete that has an engraving that says, May Peace Prevail. All right? Uh, there was some initial talk of putting it down on the water by the uh, splash park, but um, I suggested, and it seems to be a little more favorably viewed, is since it is a Rotary project, to put it at Rotary Park by the Boys and Girls Club. There is a place that they just landscaped, and I think it would be a great place for this. Um, where the Public Art Committee comes in was there was some discussion of possibly uh, doing a call to artists to do some kind of, and it's, it's actually outlined in our ordinance, uh, to do some artistic type seating. You know, mm -hmm. like a, okay. a bench or something of that sort. Like what we were looking at in the workshop. Yeah. <clears throat> awesome. So, um, Nick, do you have any uh, thoughts about this? Um, no, I mean, I just looked this over before the meeting mm -hmm. and all, and uh, I mean, it sounds like a, you know, a, a, a good place to uh, to do something like this. I'll go check it out and stuff. Yeah. I hadn't noticed what they've done over there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I drive by there all the time. But yeah, you know, I would have no objection. You know, okay, so yeah, we would consider doing a, a bench or seating of some sort. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Dawn? Absolutely. Um, I would like to get a better idea of what this looks like before, you know, move okay, too far, it's, but definitely. This, this, is it six feet tall? It's six feet tall, and it's just a square of concrete. And it's concrete, and it concrete. says, May, May peace prevail going down vertically. 
Okay. okay. On all four sides? Just one, I believe. Okay. Um, there, there are, there are, I think, there's one in Dunedin. Okay. And, um... I'll look it up and maybe there's pictures online. Yeah. I, I think, I think... Yeah, the I, Diane, I'll send you some pictures I got from uh, Sue Carson. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's this... Yeah, may peace prevail. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... There's all kinds of different mm -hmm. varieties. Mm -hmm. And it's at no cost to the Public Art Committee, it, mm -hmm. it's just, other than whatever... Right, well, yeah, whatever. Yeah, right. That's, they, they have funds. It's a Peace for Tarpon, the Rotary Club, and uh, I think, you know, Public Works. I think it would be a great opportunity to get our feet wet doing something like that and then, you know, mm -hmm. hopefully expanding it to the micro parks like we were talking about. Okay. Good opportunity to <clears throat> test the waters. Okay, so I'm going to need a uh, motion. Do, does anybody else get a chance to? Oh, I'm sorry, Graham. <laughs> well, there's Robert as well. You know? I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, there are many, very, many variations that we could do on this um, instead of um, simple seating, um, perhaps this is the opportunity to ask for um, a place to be made for the peace pole and, um, and a contemplative area around it. Mm -hmm. If we could get a definition of the area that the Rotary um, Club are prepared to set aside in, in Rotary Park for it, then you know perhaps there's reason to to extend it a little bit there like that. Right, well, at the, at the moment, it's the, the location hasn't been finalized and there was talk of some sort of field trip. So mm -hmm. if, you know, I don't know if, you know, more than one of us can go on that mm -hmm. as a fact finding. Diane, if you could check. Is, is this on city property or? or uh, it could be on pr uh, private property because it could be on private property, so that is a little more complex. And can kind well, the thing is, it's being handled by others. Yeah, by others. So the yeah. our, our our only involvement would be if we choose to do it would be, and this was just my idea. We could do something else, is to do some sort of artistic seating. Yeah, we you, could we. So, I mean, if you have another idea no, of what no, we I could th put I think it. it's, I, I agree. I, I can't remember whether Graham said it or, or uh, but it's an opportunity to do a place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, but that's a bigger budget. Yes. So, right. so this would, you know, we would, we would uh, be looking at a, this is not a bench. This is somebody designing uh, almost an right. uh, urban landscape type of thing. Mm -hmm. Right. You but know. our obligation would be... That. Just that. It Just that, not, not the peace pole. Right. Not the, the peace pole, pole not the place, <laughs> yeah. not the place making. Yeah. That's all, that's all in other hands. What, the place making? Yes. I, I, okay, I'm not understanding. Then. Well, the thing is that it, this is, this is not our project. This is a project of Peace for Tarpon and the Rotary Club. Okay, so it's going to be on a kind of, let's say for just purposes of talking about it, a plaza. Right. Or, or, so that's not something we would do. We would Correct. do something that would be set on top of the plaza Correct. or next to it. Right. Okay. Well, the, the point of this, I guess, is where it's placed is, as Graham said, it's a, an, a contemplative piece. It's supposed to be a place where people could go and mm -hmm. be calm and, and, and quiet. So that's why I thought of a, a bench, you know, a nice artistic decorative bench. You mm -hmm. know, Diane had printed up some really creative ones that we looked at at the workshop. So that's kind of what gave me the idea yeah. for this. So in terms of anything else that goes with it, that's in the purview of the, Peace for Tarpon, the Rotary, and Public Works. Okay, so as far as the bench goes or the seating, that would be bolt downs, bolt on. Right. You know, mm -hmm. the, the bolt down to the thing. It depends on what kind of budget we want to look at. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, so uh, uh, it's an opportunity to, to go for a slightly larger budget for a bench. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> the bench could be really something. Well, right. and it could just be seating. You know, we yeah. may want to go with individual pillars that have you know some mm -hmm. sort of artwork or impression right. or whatever on it. You know, so but seating, 
you know, and then we can let our But the call for artists could, could be determined by one, the site, the place, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, uh, the, the context of the thing, uh, and the budget. <laughs> Right. Mm -hmm. And and uh, the budget then could allow people to do multiple seating or or one one elaborate thing or something like that. They could be very creative that Just way. Just out of thought of but Game of Thrones. What's again <laughs> attractive to this is the budget. Right. right. <laughs> well, uh, I think as always. Yeah. Right. I think what we might want to consider is putting out a call to artists just for some proposals and suggested budgets and see what people can come up with and then think we can... we're putting the cart before the horse though because we, we need for them to uh, just determine like where it's going to be located and all right, that kind of Right, but that's the what I'm line. saying. There's yeah. a field trip coming up to, to determine the final location. So once that's determined, then, right. then we can, then we then can, we can think about, about the call to artists. Right. But I, uh, I guess where I was going with this, what I want more the feedback from the committee about whether it should be open-ended or whether she, we should divine a budget or... Um, well, as far as I can see, we've got two choices. We can leave them alone to do their peace poll in the same way that Dunedin did theirs, which is to right. whack it in the nearest flower bed and have done with it with a little <laughs> plaque. Um, and that's, uh, you know, seriously, that's what they right. did. And, and if that's what Rotary want to do because that's cheap, then, you know, mm -hmm. that's fine um, if that's what they want to do. If, on the other hand, they are attracted to the idea of a contemplative piece with, um, uh, you know, some, some sort of resting space near it that would, becomes um, a place of its own, mm -hmm. um, then we can help them with that. Right. That's the idea. That's exactly yeah. the idea. Well, yes. we need to get back to them about that. Right. Well, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. It's, I mm -hmm. mean, this is, this is like preliminary, mm -hmm. very, very preliminary. But, mm -hmm. you know, Graham, I think you made the point of being aware of what was going on in town. So right. that's what this is. Yes. You're being made yep. aware. Yeah. So there's something coming down mm -hmm. the pike and, you know. So uh, will you take care of liaising with Rotary? Yes. Or, or should Diane do it? Oh, I'm, I'm doing it as a... We were both in the meeting. Yeah, we were so. both there. Mm, okay. Okay. And if, yeah. if somebody else would like to fill in for me, but I don't think there could be two of us, right? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. All right. So I will communicate through Diane if I have any updates on this as, you know, finalization of location, mm -hmm. et cetera. Great. Okay. Illuminated art boxes. Graham, are we doing well, the next round? You know, yeah, you know how I love to speak on every possible subject. Yes. <laughs> no, um, not you. Yeah. Um, yes, I would absolutely love to volunteer to um, do the uh, illuminated art boxes again this year, and um, and I will um, get that started and um, and send a new um, call to artists out to Diane for distribution and um, whatever you know um, it, presumably if, if I don't know if it, if it fits we, you can send it straight out to the mailing list mm -hmm. um, it's not going to be that much different from last year yeah that's fine yeah yeah fix the date first I'll fix the date <laughs> yes okay believe it or not this is the fourth round mm-hmm well first round for me yeah <laughs> I'm excited yeah, yeah. okay uh, Steph comments I uh, just gave everybody um, a little invitation we've got um, our we're excited we're probably going to get our new season brochures uh, for Tarpon Arts on uh, Friday hopefully the first ones that to look at off the press and uh, we're having a big new season kickoff mm -hmm. uh, party on Saturday August 19th from 1 to 4 and we have a live band and goodies and lots of people just come and dance and have a good time and it's we have a 60s theme so if you come dressed in your best boho or tie-dye outfit <laughs> you're automatically um, uh, enrolled in our contest and we'll have prizes for uh, costumes and things okay. like that so it'll be lots of fun so if Sounds you're and then you can go right down to the sponge docks to the hippie fest right <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so it's just like a whole day right will will your new exhibit be open by then um no um the 19th uh, the, the 
Christopher Still's side on the Heritage Museum is kind of like a work in progress. Yeah. However, I'm, you're making me um, divulge stuff about the new season, but um, Elizabeth Indianos is going to have a, a new exhibition at the Cultural Center that will run from the end of August through November. Mm -hmm. So hers will be first, and then Chris will be in 2024. So uh. the, um, the one for Chris is, you know, mm -hmm. is taking longer because we have to implement, you know, some different, different things. So. But uh, Elizabeth is going to be awesome. So you'll get more information at the August meeting on that one. No, I was just wondering uh, that um, if we sneak away from the dancing in the rotunda, oh, we sure. would be able it's to open, go and yeah. have a look around. Yeah, mm -hmm. he put he put back a lot of what was there before. Uh -huh. It's just the new things that are you know in the process. So. Yeah. yeah. But absolutely, yes, it is open, and I invite you all again to come and see our beautiful renovations. Mm -hmm. I mean, it the Heritage Museum has transformed new lighting, new carpet. Um, you know, new paint. It just, it's, it's really is a showpiece mm -hmm. now. We, uh, you know, the city has a lot to be proud of. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks beautiful. I'm so grateful. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Thank we'll you, Diane. Yeah. I have something. Yeah, I'd love yes. to do that. Uh, for sure. Yes. Um, I put together a couple of different uh, orientations. I was wondering oh, if I could get some input on those, and then I can email. I. I just came up with some text that I liked, but mm -hmm. um, it's open to, you know, common stuff. But for this meeting, I just wanted to make sure that I had the the orientation. Mm -hmm. I did a long one like this. Oh. You open it like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Just on the back, QR code. Mm -hmm. The other yeah. one is standard, you know. Right. Like that. So mm -hmm. um, I tend to like to make things stand out different against something I else. Like but that very much. Yeah. You like the this. Orientation, everybody mm -hmm. okay with it? Um, not really. No? I'm fine with the um, sideways. Let me explain why. Yeah. Um, a lot of um, hotels and other places have those um, uh, display cases where they put this kind of material. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a reason that people make them the vertical, and that's because mm -hmm. you can read what it is at the top. Mm -hmm. So um, making you know, one side of it vertical for mm -hmm. display and the other, um, you know, horizontal. I mean, that, that would work. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just concerned about, you know, once you stick it in that display case, you've got mm -hmm. the top half sure. available for people to see. Well, what we could do is just make the front panel vertical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just the front panel and yeah. then... Mm -hmm. That's, that's what, I, you know, that's mm -hmm. what I'm okay. talking about, right. yeah. But apart from that, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And is that where these will be? I thought they were just going to be on a on a countertop or in a desk. Well, or on hopefully a, we can get. Other uh, I, to you know, them. I put them in all our venues, and I I, I agree with Graham. The vertical is much better for yeah. display mm -hmm. purposes. Because Graphically, I, have, I like this, but practically, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so okay. You, so you got the memo. And we put them at the library and you know other different places around the city. So. Okay. Um, all right, then I will make that adjustment, and I will send you the PDF. Um, so that everybody can review the words and maybe we can talk about it next meeting. Right. Thanks for doing that. Sure. That looks yeah. great. Thank you. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah. Sorry Sorry to to object. <laughs> That's no, okay. I, I was hoping that we were maybe getting away from this. Um, you know, I, I've seen less and less of those stands yeah. mm -hmm. and people are more opting to have things on a table or on a countertop and I was hoping we might be able to squeak that way. But if it's not feasible right now, then we'll yeah. act accordingly. Okay, anyone else? Okay. Public comments? Mm -hmm. Tarpon Arts Final oh. Community Theater um, performance is Now and Then. It's called Now and Then. Mm -hmm. And it is the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, as well as the 28th, 29th, and 30th. Okay. It's a fabulous story. Thanks, Megan. Sorry, I story. skipped over okay. <laughs> okay, public comments? Yes. <laughs> Okay. I'm coming about Dorset Park this time. Um, I was going to try to see what the Art Council thought about some recommendations before I took it to the Board of County Commissioners. The um, in Dorset Park, the the um, city manager said he was putting new play equipment out there. Right. You know, all the parks and stuff. So when you go to daycares, because I got a three year old grand, great granddaughter and an eight. So when I go to the park with them, I sit in a car and I wait on them. Mm -hmm. And I notice that in some parks, like at the daycare, they have the art, like the little horses, that's art. 
it, they, they have paintings on them, just like you were saying, Sylvester the Cat, for instance, mm -hmm. things like that. So I'm looking at, the, at asking the art uh, committee about having things put in the park that the kids can ride on, the little, you know, little bouncy things, mm -hmm. but art pieces. Mm, that's that's interesting. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We yeah, probably to, have to, uh, you know, maybe go out there and take some pictures and, I'll go you to know. the daycare and get some because that's where they got them at mostly. Right. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I think it was Graham that was saying earlier, it might have been Mr. Stackhouse, about a mural around the fencing. Mm -hmm. So on the outside of Dorset Park, where they well, drive that's Stephen. That's that's his that's his project at uh, the Cap Center. No, Dorset Park. No, no, no. But the what the one that you referenced, that's Stephen's sculpture is around the fence. Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah. um, okay, um, well at Dorset Park, uh -huh. there's a, a chain length fence, fence mm -hmm. that, that okay. on the on the uh, Harrison Street side. Right. So I was thinking, well, maybe, like you were saying about a mural, maybe something can go on the inside of the fence, that when the children playing in the playing in the playground, right. that they'll have historical, a mural that can tell the history of people in our community, like Mr. Dorset, who started that park, mm -hmm. or different people, mm -hmm. the educators, like Ms. Lambright, right. who was one of the educators. So people like that, maybe we can have a mural. This, just ideas now, but inside the fence, a mural like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, um, so. um, one other thing would be when the children are playing an educational piece that they have to, um, it might be a, a, a sign or a poster to have a historical person there that's educating them about their history. Mm -hmm. So, art stuff that that tells a story, right? Would in, intrigue kids' mind to read, and also, um, last but not least, uh, I know they're not going to put a pool back there because it's, it's probably a lot to put a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. But I noticed in in Dunedin, they have a water splash park, and a lot of art pieces in the water splash park mm -hmm. that kids can play with. So those things I was going to ask if the what the art committee thought about to maybe start looking at Dorset Park. Sure, we'll check it out. Mm -hmm. And it, it almost sounds like a joint project with the historical society, mm -hmm. you know, because you're you're, you know, invoking a lot of you know, like you said, the you know the the leaders <laughs> and the uh, citizens and the from the community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, there was just one thing. Um, and I'm sure that there's something else that we could do, but as far as putting something solid inside of a chain link fence, when winds come, that's going to be gone. So we might look at something that's woven in there or something that has holes or something like that. But just, um, you know, that was the only thing that caused me a little pause to have it all inside there. But I like the idea of having individual pieces that speak to the area, another opportunity to do a placemaking area. So mm -hmm. definitely wants, would like some more information. I'll work on any committee that will work with that part if, you know, mm -hmm. I'm willing to work with that. Awesome. But right. those are things I like to see for Dorset Park. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank yeah. you. Um, yeah. At the um, Board of Commissioners meeting last night, um, I asked about Dorset Park because there's the, um, the southwest corner, uh, mm -hmm. which has been used by um, solid waste for so long. Um, is on the verge of being restored to the park. And so anything that we do with Dorset Park or any suggestions that we have to make, we have to work with both Public Works and Parks and Rec um, with, from the city mm -hmm. um, to make sure that we're working um, with their plans for the restoration of the park, mm -hmm. not against them. Right. Uh, that's the only thing I'd, I'd say. Right. And he, I thought he said that he already had some playground equipment on the way or something like that, but then there were other plans for future stuff. So yeah. definitely mm -hmm. finding out where they are and mm -hmm. trying to um, okay. get involved in that is a good idea. Yeah. Thank you, Katie. Yeah, we'll have to check it out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If there's nothing else, uh, meetings adjourned at 319. Our next regular meeting is Wednesday, August 9th at 2 p.m. Same bat time, same bat channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.